Hey everyone, in today's how-to video, I wanna show you how to use Google Sheets if you're a beginner to Google Sheets or if you're coming from other platforms like Microsoft Excel. And Google Sheets is part of Google Drives and part of Google G Suites. And Google Sheets is free to use. It's a spreadsheet program and it lives online. So you don't have to download any type of software. You could just access it on the internet. And the easiest way to access Google Sheets is to go to drive.google.com, which will bring you inside of Google Drive. Now, Google Drive is basically the way all the different sheets and all the different types of Google products get stored online. So think of it as more like a digital hard drive. And I have a different video explaining Google Drive and the different products that live inside of Google Drive, like Google Docs and Google Slides and Google Forms. This video is focused on Google Sheets, one of those products inside of Google Drive. So once you go to the Drive website, just sign into your Google account. And if you don't have one, just go ahead and create one from scratch. It's very simple. And to create a Google Sheet inside of Google Drives, just press the little plus sign here and go ahead and go down to Google Sheets and click it. There's also an option if you go over here to this arrow to create from templates. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do blank spreadsheets. If you go to the template page, and if you go to the general tab over here, you could choose from a lot of different templates. Like if you're using Google Sheets to make invoices or track time or to do expense reports, you can start using these templates and not creating from scratch. And there's a whole bunch more over here like to-do lists and things like that. So maybe explore this page to see if something catches your attention. In my case, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna start from scratch. So Google Sheet, I'll just click it. And the first thing we typically wanna do with any Google product that we open up is title it. So right now it's Untitled Spreadsheet. I'll call this Annual Budget. You could star it and that will make it one of your favorites inside of your Google Drive. So it'd be a little easier to find. And what I do next is I press move right here, this little folder icon, click it. And what this does is instead of just putting it somewhere randomly in your Google Drive, you could choose where it ends up. So typically I like to press this little folder icon and call this whatever I want. And that will be the name of that folder. And I'll press the check mark. And now that folder is opened up and I could move that document here. So when I go to my Google Drive later, I'll know exactly where my Google Sheets documents are. I do this with any type of document I create inside of Google Drive. Now, before we start filling this out and going over the details here, there's also another option on the bottom of the page and it's the sheets here. So right now we made a Google Sheets document, but underneath that, you could have multiple different sheets inside of the same document. So right now by default, there's just sheet one. So I could click this little arrow down here and I could rename this document. So maybe this is called budget summary and I'll press enter. But if I wanted to have other pages to this document, I could press the plus sign and add a sheet here. And maybe this sheet I could rename to January. So if I wanted to do monthly budget breakdowns, I could do that by having many sheets here and the main one will be my summary. That's how you create multiple sheets, but you don't have to. You could just have one sheet, which is what I'm gonna do in this case. And I'll just work on the main sheet here. Let me kind of just give you an overview of what you're looking at on this page. On the very top, you have A, B, C, D. You have the alphabet here, basically, that represents your columns. Now, columns go from top to bottom. So if I just click one and select it, this is column A. All this is part of column A. And then on the left side, you have numbers, one through as many as you like. So you could keep going to infinity here. But if I select one, you could see now this is selected, and that's called a row. So inside of Google Sheets, you have columns, which go top to bottom and you have rows which go left and right. And these individual boxes here, the one you see selected in blue, that's called a cell. So cells, rows and columns make up a Google Sheet. And later on, when you have a really busy sheet and you wanna know, for example, which cell is this? How do I refer to this cell? You start with the column letter, so B, and then the row number, so nine. So this cell, will be B9. Now, when you get more advanced and you use formulas, it is very handy to know which cell you're in. What's the name of that cell? And that's how you find out. 
name of the column first and the number of the row. I'll go ahead and select this and press delete. Now, inside of any one of these cells here, you could have numbers, you could have formulas, you could have words, you could have sentences, pretty much anything you could think of could fit inside of these. So for example, I'll just call this budget, that will become my title, and I could go ahead and press enter, and it'll bring me down a row. This will become my title, and then typically over here, you would want to put the different things that will go on these different cells. So in my case, my expenses would go over here, and then I could name all my expenses down the list below. And then this would be my monthly cost for that expense. I could put that underneath that. And then maybe my yearly cost would go over here. And then we'll use some formulas to make things a little bit simpler. Now, one thing to note is if you write a sentence that's too long, this is a longer sentence that looks like it's going into the other column here. You see that it's too long for column D. And if I just click away here, it looks like it's part of column E now, but it's not. If I select column E and I typed here, column D is still intact and all those words or numbers or whatever you put here is still part of it. So you could have long sentences here and it's not going to disappear. It's still, the whole value is still there. And anytime if you click one of these columns, under this effects tab right here, you could see the full sentence or the entire number over here if you wanted to see what was on the cell. If you wanna make it more organized on any of these, you could grab the little blue arrow right here. So if you just go to the side of any of these walls, get this blue arrow, you could drag and click to make these different sizes. You could do this with rows too. So if I want row two to be a little bit bigger, I could just go ahead and grab it and do it this way. You could always double click over here too and it will just auto resize it for you so you could read the whole thing if you don't want to manually change the size. And here, let me put for example, for expenses, rent goes here and then the monthly cost for rent, let's say is $1,500. I'll put in 1500 here and I'll press tab this time. And yearly costs, we'll go ahead and use calculations when we get into the formula section. So instead of me doing the math of figuring out what's 1500 times two, I'll kind of show you how we are gonna let Google Sheets handle that for us. And I'll go ahead and select these two and delete these. And just one more thing I'll show you before I fill out the rest of this page. If you type a word here, if you press enter, it moves you down on the column. So it moves you down one. But if you press tab, it moves you over on the row. So it's a fast way to get around by pressing tab to move left and right and pressing enter to move down. I'll go ahead and fill out the rest of this budget so we have some numbers to work with and we'll get to the next step. Okay, so I put more items on this here so we have more to work with. And typically what we next wanna do after we put in our numbers is we just wanna do some basic formatting so things are a little bit easier to read. So typically we wanna change our title. So it's usually on A1 where you put your title here. You wanna select this and you wanna change the formatting. So I'll go ahead and select it. And over here is all your formatting options that you could work with. Let me just make this page slightly bigger here. And I'll go ahead and I wanna make this bold and I'll just change the size here to be 18. So it's much bigger than it was before. And I want this to spread out actually. So I want it to be a little bit bigger. But right now I can't do it because it's just in the cell, but I want it to be across these three different boxes, these three different cells. So while it's selected, all I have to do is drag these three different cells. I just clicked my mouse and drag these three. Now the three are highlighted. And now I could go over here to this dropdown to merge. So if I select this and it says merge all, click that. And it turns all those cells into one big cell. You see how these little gray walls disappeared? So now if I select this budget, I could center this easily. And to do that, I would just come over here to the horizontal alignment. I'll click it and I'll press the center option. Before, if I did that, it would have just centered it in this box and not all three boxes. Next, I'm gonna click here and drag on these three boxes and I'll go ahead and make these bold. But this time, let me change the color. So I'll change the color. You could change the color of the text by pressing the A option here or the color of the background, which is what I wanna do here. So I'll select this and I'll go ahead and make it green. And that selected these three and made them green. Now, if you wanna do the whole row, just select the whole row from here, just press the number. You could do it with columns too. 
and then you could go ahead and press that color green and it'll do this whole row now if i just scroll over here you could see all the way to z is green if you ever make a mistake too there's edit and redo and undo so let me undo that in this case you could explore more of formatting up here all your options is laid out right in the center now if you want to add symbols to these so these are supposed to be dollars and i really want a dollar sign but i'm not going to go manually type in a dollar sign i'll just click this column here to select everything that's ever going to be on this column and up here i'm going to press the formatting option and pick currency and i get the dollar sign and the right formatting for it being dollars you also have that with percentages and others here anytime with rows columns or these individual cells and boxes you could go ahead and select them so let me select an entire row row 12. you could right click right over here and you could delete entire rows here you could hide entire rows or you could add rows below and above so if i insert one above it adds a clear row on top of the one I was just on. That one comes in really handy, especially if you forget to put things in order. You could just add rows or columns by right clicking on it and adding left or right on columns or below and above on rows. And you could always also click and copy an entire row as well. So you could just go ahead and copy an entire row, go to a different row, and then right click on it and paste that row as well. So that will paste the same row. So if you wanna duplicate different rows or columns, and this works with individual cells too. But in this case, I'll select this row and I'll just press delete to delete the content of the row. And let me go ahead and select this row. And instead of deleting, that will just delete the content. I'll go ahead and remove this by right clicking on it. And I'll go ahead and delete this entire row this time. And it'll move the other row up. Another useful option is sorting. So if you come up to data here, this menu, you could sort your entire sheet alphabetically. You could also do this for a range. So let me just choose sort sheet A to Z. I'll select it. And you can see it turned my entire thing from B all the way to W and it put it alphabetically in these rows. Now the only problem is it also took my title bar and put it over here, which is not what I want. So let me go ahead and undo that. And the other option is basically you could select what you want to be sorted alphabetically. So I just selected everything here and I could go to data and I could sort alphabetically by range. I'll select that. And it took everything I selected and did it alphabetically without using this green row because I didn't select that row. And the reason why I selected both of these is because I want these numbers to move but still stay on the same row as the actual expense here. If I just did this row, it would have changed it, but these numbers would have got all mixed up. So typically you want to just select the text and the numbers together like this when sorting. Now let's get into formulas or functions. One of the most useful things inside of any spreadsheet program. So let me just start with a very simple function of adding. So let's say I had a number 50 over here and I had a number 86 over here and I had a number 54 over here. And I wanna add these together. So instead of using a calculator app or doing this in my head, I could use what's called a function inside of Google Sheets. So I want the results to go here. So I'll select this cell and I'll come up here to the functions tab. Some people refer to it as formulas and select this little down arrow. And I want to choose sum, which is just adding these numbers that I'm going to choose. I'm going to select that and look at what it does. It puts a formula for me, the equal sign, sum and parentheses. Inside of those parentheses are the numbers I want to add. So I could select one of them and then drag to select the other two and let go. And you could see that it added those for me. And if I press enter, it just adds these three for me. And let me go ahead and select this and press delete. Another way you could do it is again, I'll go over here and do sum. You could select one and then while you hold shift, select the other and then the other. You get the same result, but if the numbers were in different places, shift might be another solution instead of dragging. Anytime you could select the cell that has a formula and then go up here to the FX menu here and see what that formula was that was added. In this case, I'm gonna delete pretty much everything I added. I just wanted to show you one of the simplest formulas in any spreadsheet program, which is the sum function to add multiple numbers. So let's use it in the case for our example. Let's say we wanna see how much we're spending every month. So we need to add all this. So I'll come down here. This is gonna be our total. 
and I'll make this bold and I'll come to this box. This is where our total number is going to go. So again, the sum function is going to work. I'll come over here, press sum. And this time I'll click this box and drag the rest of these boxes and let go and press enter. So now it took everything that I put all these values and added them together here. Now I'll show you how to do one of these manually because these work manually as well. So I'll come over here to yearly cost. And this time we want to know that our $120 a month car insurance, how much is that going to be per year? Well, we just need to do this 120 times 12 and we're going to use the function up here. So I'll select it and typically it starts with an equal sign. So you just type in the equal sign and this time we'll just do it manually. So this cell is B3. So I know this B3, I'll type in B3. And I'll do the multiply option here, which is shift eight, the little asterisk symbol. And I want to do this times 12. So I'll type in times 12 and press enter. And it just took 120 times 12. If I select this box, I could see my formula up here. So B3, which was this box, I just found that from my column and row. And then 12, I typed in manually and that gave me multiplication. Now, instead of doing this for all these, look at this little cool trick here. I could grab this box here and drag it all the way down and let go. And it just created all those different formulas for me automatically. So 1800, if I selected, it just added B5 times 12. So this box times 12 and this box times 12 got me 420. All these numbers were automatically calculated by just doing that. Now you could do this with dates too. So if I type in 1, 1, 20, 22, press enter, I could select this box and I could grab this blue box on the corner and drag it down. And it just adds the dates for me automatically. It just didn't duplicate this date. It added the dates from that date. Very useful option when it comes to formulas and numbers and dates. Now, one of the main reasons that you use formulas is not just to do the math for you, but it's basically reserving that formula. So if my car insurance amount changes, let's say it becomes 150, all I have to do is change that monthly cost, press enter, and you see the math change to 1800. So I don't have to ever do that formula again. It stays intact in my Google Sheets. All your formulas across all your sheets stay intact. So if the initial values that you type in change, you don't have to figure out the formula or the output again and again. Now let's get to sharing and saving. So by default, everything gets saved on your Google Drive. You don't have to ever press save like you do with softwares that you download on your computer. But you could come to the file option and you could actually make a copy if you don't want to alter the copy you're working on. And you could download it. And you could download it as a PDF or as a Microsoft Excel document. It can't be downloaded as a Google Sheets document because that lives on this website. But all these other documents are available. You also have version history too. So you could name your current version and then work on another one. And you could email it as an attachment. But one of my favorite ways to work on anything inside of Google Drive is press share. Go ahead and click this. And here, all you have to do is add people. Just type in their email here. And then you could go ahead and work on this document at the same time or just get comments from them. So for example, I just type someone's email here and I want to give them different permissions here. So in this case, I could basically make them an editor so they could work on this at the same time I'm working on it if we want to do that. I could let them comment so they could use the comment function up here or they could just view if I want to let people view it but not really alter or comment on it. And I would just choose that permission over here first. Then I will make sure they're going to be notified with the email and type my message. My documents are already being shared and I'll go ahead and press send. Collaborations and sharing, especially when everybody could edit the same document when they have permission is one of the most powerful tools inside of any Google Drive product. And that's the beginner's guide to Google Sheets. Obviously, it's a lot more advanced and the formulas could get really in depth, but I really wanted to give you a good overall introduction to Google Sheets. Again, watch the other videos on Google Drives and Google Docs and really get yourself familiar with using those Google products. I'll put everything in links below this video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you next time.